1948, two and one half million people cut off, isolated from the outside world. The rooftops of Berlin, chimneys line the sky in smokeless patterns, mute testimony to the economic wall enclosing a shattered city, a wall over which airplanes are still flying, bringing food and coal on a 24-hour round-the-clock schedule. The people in the western sector of Berlin have learned to live with the sight and sound of these giant four-engine aircraft. For the past year, this has been their only hope. The only path open between Germany to the west and the landlocked island of Berlin. Today, one can read some doubt, some disillusionment in the faces of the men and women in the streets. A fear that any agreements reached at the conference between Washington and Moscow and London and Paris may not last. So what is our position in Berlin today? Brigadier General Frank L. Howley, American Commandant in Berlin and a member of the Allied Commandatura, the Four Power Control Board, explains it this way. You're interested in knowing uh, the Berlin situation as, as I see it today. First, I believe we should bear in mind that the Americans, British and French have exactly the same rights in Berlin as the uh, Soviets have. We came here by international agreement. This is, it should be, completely an international city. It should be an international city. One of the few remaining traces of four power authority is the air safety center controlling the air corridors. Here, working side by side, we see the French, British, and the American representatives. The chair, the empty chair in the foreground, is the Soviet section of this board. General Howley goes on to say, You'll recall that after the elections in October 1946, the Soviets with the Communist Party took various measures to control the elected government, which contained approximately 19% communists called SED, the rest being uh, what we would consider more democratic parties. Dividing the British and the Soviet sectors of the city is the Brandenburg Gate. A free translation of the sign at the top of the gate reads, the warmongers write in German but think in terms of dollars and atom bombs. Berlin must not be made the victim. And in another part of the city at the Charlottenburg railway station, two sets of railroad tracks underscore the stagnant economic life of Berlin. The shiny tracks are those connecting the various sections of the city, while those alongside the rust-covered unused rails lead out of Berlin, beyond the Soviet sector, to Helmstedt and Frankfurt in the west. Geschlossen, closed. By order of the Russians who control the crews as well as a great share of the rail equipment now in use. 